Hey, I suspect we'll have at least three scopes that we'll have to push around. So we've got two big daubs, which are uh, really nice. We'll be able to see really good stuff in the desert. Okay, you just push these around and we'll more than likely have a refractor. Uh, cat probably is not included. Um, so what we want is you'll be pushing these. Um, basic way to do it is you got to line it up. You got to know the sky, know your constellation, know where you're going to push it to. But you line it up, eyeball it down here, just put your eyeball by the scope and get an idea where it's going. Get it close and then you look in the finder. There's some crosshairs that don't, I don't, yeah, you can see the crosshairs. Okay, so the crosshairs will go on your star, push it around, and then you should be good. Okay, this is an easy one. This is called an inline, a straight through. Okay, you put one eye over here so you can see the sky, other one in the, uh, in the finder, you're good. This one's a little more difficult because you can't just line up. You still line up the scope. Okay, you still line up the scope. And then hopefully, this is wide field, so uh, when you put your eyeball on this, it should be close. Crosshair on that one too, okay? The advantage of this is you don't have to get way down here to look through it. You can stay up here where you're tall, okay? Uh, same thing on your refractors. Now the refractor, may or may not have a finder on it depending on what's going on but uh, line it up find something I tend to go on these corners here but line it up towards your target refractors tend to have really wide fields of view and then uh, it may or may not have a finder that's it so the key is you have to know where you're gonna put it and uh, use your line up the scope use your finder and then look around in the eyepiece